Hi everyone, I'm Daniel and this is Coding and Caffeine channel and welcome back to this Bootstrap 4 uh, series. And in this new episode we're going to take a look at the carousel or uh, image slider. So basically we're going to build something like this. Or you can also make it simple with just the indicators. and Or uh, very very simple like uh, this. Just showing the slide or third slide or fourth and what I want to build, so let's dive into our code editor. I want to reduce this one, actually I want to close it. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do, of course I want to open a div. And I want to give it a class of carousel-slide, but I want to also give it an ID. And I want to make it as simple as possible, my carousel, class carousel slide. Also another attribute of data ride of carousel. So I want to make it just a little bit bigger. Otherwise we don't see the code at all. All right, so um, another div of class carousel inner and inside this div, another div of carousel item. Maybe a class of active as well. And I want to um, actually have a folder of image here. So I rename it as simple as possible. So um, in the out first, first slide. EMG, EMG1. And if I save it, uh, you see it is not um, very nice displayed because one gave some class for uh, making this image responsive. Um, how can we do that? I can give it a class of D block. W F and 100. If I save it, you see that right now is uh, is responsive. Okay, now let's try to duplicate this image as a new slide. Of course, I want to remove the class of active to change the path for the three images. I want to click save. And it sure works as a slide normally. I also, okay, yeah, it works. First slide. Second slide. And the third slide. Save it. Okay, right now we want to um, create some controls uh, or indicators for um, for our slides. So just after the um, ID of my carousel, the first ID for wrapping our slide, we'll create an OL of class, ordered list of class carousel indicators, indicators. And inside this ordered list, uh, three list items. All right, so um, I want to give some class classes to these uh, three list items. So data target to the ID of our carousel. 
data slide two. Zero. And just to this one, the class of active. Okay, so data target my carousel data slide two this case is one and I want to copy this and paste in the third list item of course this will be two if I save it nothing's changed of course something has changed in the CD we have the indicators here because I maybe missed something or even a syntax error maybe here to remove this dash if I save it then you have the indicators here they are so clickable of course the images are not the same size because I downloaded on a free uh, image uh, website so you can uh, find maybe three or four images with the same size and you will see there is no this difference of sizes but um, yeah basically our uh, carousel works uh, nice okay now we want to add two controls on our slider the previous and next uh, buttons some uh, errors so before the last div, I want to create anchor tag. Of course, it's my at the ID of my carousel. I want to give it a class. Any classes will be carousel dash control dash prev as preview. Control dash preview. Okay, and inside this tag, um, I maybe I want to add one more attribute. That way we can control the was we won't work. This will be prev previous. Okay, to span tag, a class. This first one will be carousel control previous icon and then another span tag uh, actually we don't need this one try to remove and save it and we have our first control and it works okay I want to create another one for the next So this will be carousel control next. Let us slide next. These are the the most important parameters for uh, making this slider working. I first save it. Okay, we have our control buttons. There works very nice. Okay, another thing that I want to do right now, I want to create some caption here with a maybe H1 or H2 paragraph and um, and some some button actually. Uh, so I want to go just after the um, the image tag actually. So I'm I'm in the navigation. So just after the image I want to create a div with the class of container and inside this container another div with a class of carousel iPhone caption space text left and you can also modify this actually we have an h1 um, like 
example text slide one try to save this okay uh, maybe I want to remove the class text left okay carousel caption maybe I want to keep this class of text left but uh, it will be an A2, it works better with an A2, okay. Okay, after I will have a paragraph. Lorem 45, some lorem text. And also a button. So after the paragraph. Our classes. Um, Or maybe I want to do inside of a paragraph would be better, I think. Anchor tag with a class of btn btn large dash no space. btn primary I want to save it of course I want to write inside so to give it a class or all of button I want to write click here where we can see our button okay this is perfect so I want to uh, duplicate this container inside of all of our slides. Of course, I want to change something. So I want to create a different button actually. So the first slide, second slide with a different color of our button. And the third slide I will have also, uh, danger, I think. Okay, it works. So we are created the indicators, the buttons, the arrow buttons for uh, control our slide and some buttons. And um, it's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial.